There are several misconceptions on how the compiler works in source, and how you should build or not build maps to have them optimized. In this video, I will attempt to explain how optimization works in a way that is easily understandable without all the technical gibberish. The Team Fortress 2 maps are perfect examples of genius level designs in both gameplay and optimizing. Here, we can see a piece of the map magically pop into existence as your view comes around a corner. This is what all major optimization is based around. Taking a bird's eye view of the area in question makes it easier to see what was actually going on. This is the path that our view took. Let's also simplify this into basic geometrical shapes. Adding this piece of wall right there is a stroke of genius, as it allows part of the map to be obscured from view. The way this sort of optimizing works is, when compiling your map, one of the very first things that happen, in VBSP to be exact, is your map being shattered into pieces. These pieces are known as vis leaves. In this case, this is where the compiler would probably place them. We will focus on vis leaves 1, 2, and 3. When the vis leaves are placed, the compiler moves on to via vis, where it draws lines between all the corners of every vis leaf on the map. This is why vis always starts really fast, but then slows down, every dot appearing taking twice as long as the last one. As you can see, every single line between Visleaf 1 and Visleaf 2 crosses through solid geometry. Therefore, when the player stands in Visleaf 2, Visleaf 1 won't be rendered, and vice versa. However, as you can see, Visleaf 3 has one single line which goes from Visleaf 1 to Visleaf 3 without going through solid geometry. This means that if you are in Visleaf 3, Visleaf 1 will be rendered. Hence, Visleaf 1 appears to pop into existence as you go around the corner walking from Visleaf 2 to Visleaf 3. I really hope this has been informative, because this is something very core to all level design, but I rarely meet anyone who actually knows about it.